Well, concerns about the safety of Shano Lake were soon forgotten today as about 500 students from 65 different schools headed out for one of the biggest high school fishing tournaments of the winter. And not even standing water on most of the lake could dampen the moods. NBC26's Eric Crest was among them and joins us live at 6 with more on the day's success. Lugging around in two to three inches of standing water would be enough for most high school kids to toss in the towel. But for the high school fishing teams I ran into today, they could have cared less. When your options are wading through the water or sitting on a bucket, you tend to choose the latter. Try it once. If you don't like it, that's okay. You, there's other things to do, but just try it once. Today, hundreds of high school kids took to Shano Lake for the WIFA High School State Ice Fishing Championship. And some of them, 22 and a half inch northern, even caught fish. A couple nice perch and a couple northerns. <laughs> Many of these kids are just being introduced to the sport of ice fishing. I've always been into fishing, but I, this is my second year doing the ice fishing. And in a state where the tradition runs as deep as the 15 inches of ice they're standing on. That's another way to, to connect with kids. It's enough to make many fathers and coaches proud. The cruddy part is that they only get four years of this, but hopefully after, after school they, they continue on to the tradition. And while any teenager out here will tell you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. It takes a true fisherman to claim the title of best angler in the family. I think I am. Rather than their dad, who taught them the ropes. He'd probably say differently, but I guess anybody probably would. So as these kids learn the skills only developed with practice, it's safe to say they're getting the hang of what the hobby is really about. Now for the second year in a row, the Wisconsin Rapids High School fishing team took the tourney down. And if, you're, if your high school lacks a fishing club, there is a handful of resources to help coaches start one up. Check out this story on our website for all the details. With NBC 26, I'm Eric Crest, keeping you connected.